What's good, YouTube? It's Gary with another fan TV. Back at you with another video. Now, the content of my videos, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Like the content of this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. We're going to hop right into it. So, they released a top 10 QB list and left Lamar Jackson out. Now, who is they? The same people who, when I did the video about Marlon Humphrey being a top 10 corner, had that guy number eight. Those same executives, coaches, and scouts did their own top court, top 10 quarterback list and left Lamar Jackson off. Now, I feel like this is really reactionary. It's based off of two games last year, the Miami zero blitz game and the Browns four interception game. Now, unfortunately for Lamar Jackson, both of those games happen to be on primetime television, right? So that means the whole world saw it. And I feel like guys are being really reactionary towards those two games. But before all of that, the Ravens were at eight and three, number one seed in the NFL with all the injuries. And Lamar Jackson was firmly in the MVP candidate. To me, he was the MVP at that point in time. Now we have those two bad games that kind of, I think it erased a lot of stuff for Lamar Jackson. Then he gets hurt. So now it ends off on a bad note. So I feel like this list is really, really reactionary. But we're going to go through it and see the disagreements, okay? Now, their top 10 list consists of Dak Prescott at 10, Deshaun Watson at 9, Russell Wilson at 8, uh, uh, Justin Herbert at 7, Matthew Stafford at 6, Joe Burrow at 5, Tom Brady at 4, Josh Allen at 3, Patrick Mahomes at 2, Aaron Rodgers at 1. Okay? Now, the top four, I don't have too much complaints with. You can, shuffle, you can shuffle maybe around here and there. I don't have too much complaints with that, okay? Dak at number 10, I'm fine with that. I think Dak has done enough to stay there. Deshaun Watson at nine. He hasn't played football in nearly a, uh, a year and a half. Um, when last time he played football, didn't contribute to winning. Um, he put up a lot of numbers. A lot of numbers on a Texan team that wasn't very good, wasn't going anywhere, but I need to see him play football again before I can put him in that, that top 10 list, all right? Um, and Joe Burrow at five for me, way too high. That's just my opinion. Now, I did my own list because I believe if you're going to disagree with a list, make your own list and show me what you got, right? So this is so so this is my list when it comes to top 10 quarterbacks in the NFL. All right. So 10, Dak Prescott still, uh, Russell Wilson at nine, Justin Herbert at eight, Joe Burrow at seven, uh, Matthew Stafford at six. Josh Allen at five, Lamar Jackson at four, Tom Brady at three, Patrick Mahomes two, Aaron Rodgers one. Now, like I said, that top of the list, I couldn't disagree with too much on the original list. So Aaron Rodgers, you know, Patrick Mahomes, top two guys, I got no issue with that. I'm going to slide Tom Brady in there. He's still playing really well, still playing at a high, high level. Now, Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen four and five. If you want to say Josh Allen is four and Lamar is five, I got no problem with that. Uh, to me, you can flip them. You can flip those two guys. It's all about preference. OK, now, um, like I said, it's all about preference when it comes to those two. My preference obviously, is going to be Lamar Jackson on, on that front. But Lamar has to be a top five quarterback. I'm sorry. He cannot be lower than five. All right. Matt Stafford, six uh, playoff success, got the Super Bowl. And also, he's always been a good quarterback. You know, the Lions just didn't have a lot of talent around him. Um, as far as, you know, a complete football team, you know, he had Golden Tate for a look for, for a stretch. He had uh, Calvin Johnson, obviously, but it just never got put together all the way. And, and uh, really, unless when they had Jim Caldwell, that was when they were at their best and they fired Jim Caldwell for whatever reason. OK, Joe Burrow at seven, uh, Justin Herbert at eight, uh, Russell Wilson at nine, Dak Prescott at 10. So Dak Prescott, like I said, he can hold that down at number 10 spot. I think he deserves to be in there. He's better than guys like... Um, I guess somebody would be outside the list, like a Derek Carr, Kyler Murray. I would rather have Dak Prescott. That's just that, that's me on that one. Now, Russell Wilson, I think he's going to show that he's still a top 10 quarterback this season. So I had no problem with him being there at nine. Justin Herbert and Joe Burrow, for me, can flip, you know. But I'm going to give the edge to Joe Burrow for this reason. It's for playoff success, okay? Um, I'm not going to ignore what he did. I don't think he deserves to be top five for what he did in the playoffs. But I'm going to give him the edge. Justin Herbert has been extremely consistent since they allowed him to be on the field. Okay, since everything happened with Tyrod Taylor and Justin Herbert came onto the field, he's been consistent. Now, Joe Burrow, all right, at seven. This is, I think, is an appropriate ranking. Five is just too high, bro. The Bengals were 10 and seven. The schedule wasn't that crazy. They, I'm not gonna say they snuck up on people, but people weren't eyeing up for the Bengals like they are gonna be this season. So just having Joe Burrow at five after one year. I feel like it was way too high. It was just, it was too mild for me. 
Lamar Jackson, I think, is constantly, I don't want to get to so far and say it's disrespected, but I will say he's being constantly slighted by the coaches, the executives around the league, just because he's not their style of guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though Josh Allen is on here, I get that. I think the way Lamar strikes people the way he plays is different. Okay. Um, I just think that when they see like a guy like a Joe Burrow, they understand that kind of quarterback. So they like the kind of quarterback. So yeah, let, let's let, let's put him up there. Let, let's put him in there. And I think Lamar Jackson gets criticized and punished way too much for the other things that quarterbacks don't even get a second look at. Like I see videos where we still gotta justify whether Lamar Jackson can throw the football. Like he's in year five. He's an MVP caliber quarterback. He actually won an MVP, and we're still having this discussion. I feel like Lamar gets slighted way too often. And this top 10 list is just another, another slight towards Lamar Jackson. Like, you cannot tell me that Dak Prescott and Russell Wilson did more to be on a top 10 list than Lamar Jackson. I, I just can't hear that. Okay. Um, Herbert, good young quarterback. I got nothing wrong to say about Dustin Herbert. Herbert and Burrow could easily be top five quarterbacks at some point in their career. I truly believe that they both probably will be top five quarterbacks, especially when Brady bows out, Aaron Rodgers bows out. That's two open spots in the top five. They can easily be those guys to fill it. But right now, Burrow at five is just too high for me. Way too high. I'm sorry. Okay. The Bengals get a lot of love for a team that made Super Bowl and didn't win it. I know they're a young team up and coming, but they get a lot of love for that, man. And um, when it comes to Lamar Jackson versus Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow is a good player, but give me the guy who won the MVP. Give me the guy who's done it every year since he's been in the league. All right, Joe Burrow had one good season. I need to see it again from Joe Burrow. That's what that's all I'm saying with him. Now, um, with Lamar Jackson, I think he's going to continue to get slighted until he wins a Super Bowl. And that's just how it's going to be. That's his criteria. It's not every other quarterback's criteria, but for some reason for Lamar Jackson, he has to prove that he can win it all to be a successful quarterback. He's won his playoff games, and he's won a playoff game. Now it went from, oh, he can't win a playoff game to now he can't win a championship. So until he actually wins Super Bowl, the goalpost is going to constantly and continuously move for Lamar Jackson. So that's just how I feel about this list. Um, so I want to drop my top 10 list in response because, you know, if I'm going to disagree with the list, I got to put my own list out there. So that's what I did, man. It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.